Hey guys, welcome to Maker Tales, and today we're going to be making some playing cards out of this veneer wood with backed paper. We're going to stick these together with a bit of spray mount, and then we're going to cut them. For myself, I'm also going to be testing out a new system, which is called the Vision Control System, which uses reference points. So I'm going to engrave one side, flip it, use the vision system to find the reference points so then when all the cards are cut out the backs are all exactly the same pattern. Of course one thing that I've realized with these cards is because it's wood you could technically learn the pattern of what that card is behind by looking at the back of the cards but oh well we're just gonna make some cool cards and see what happens. Anyway let's get straight to it and yeah Now that these have been sprayed, I've got to wait about 30, 45 seconds, a minute, to let the spray mount become tacky. This is a mistake that quite a few people do when they first use spray, pout, spray mount, so make sure you let it get tacky, because if not, you're not going to get a good adhesion when you stick them together. Right, I'm now going to put these under a bit of pressure, give them about 20 minutes, an hour to dry, and then, in the meantime, let's go and make these files. Okay, so I've got the card design done. I've done a very mini test to see if I understand the vision system because the first time I tried it, it wasn't working. The second time, it's worked. And yeah, now I've got all the pages down. I've given them a light sand so that they're a little bit lighter, they're more contrast, and I just find the engraving works out better when they've been slightly sanded. Now, that's pretty much it. Now I cross my fingers and hope that this works. The way this is going to be working is the first pass is going to be doing the back and putting the reference marks in. Then the second pass, I'm going to be flipping all the pages 180 degrees. It will read the reference marks and then it will etch out the rest of the cards. Well there you guys have it, that is how to make some double sided laser cut wood veneer cards. So they've come out a lot better than I expected, I learnt a lot in this project because I have a problem with my vision system, I had to learn how to recalibrate it, change a whole bunch of settings, that's why it's taken so long, that's why from the beginning of the video you didn't have this, now you do. But that has been really interesting. Now, if you're interested in these design files, let me know down in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. I might sell these, might not, don't know. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do.
But next week's video might be me making a box for all these. They, they're quite hefty, if you see there. That's not your average 52 cards. Um, these are the jokers, by the way, that I've, I decided to add them because you never know. You've got these weird card games that have jokers in them. So, anyway, that's it. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should make next. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to see more. And as always, thanks for watching and let the quest continue.